So Capital Support, um, we're a, um, I guess, a, a money service provider that look after uh, the alternative investment market. We had a, um, a number of backup solutions that we were um, challenging, I guess, uh, to see whether we can get uh, to deliver in a slightly different and more efficient way. We immediately dismissed one within hours of, uh, of installing. And with the SolarWinds back recovery, it was a quite a different story. The, the team over from Holland, from the Netherlands, came over. They took us through what it can do, what's the roadmap. And also, they were quite clear on what it can't do. And when we were putting things and things that we were like were on our wish list, um, they said, no, 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 and we're not even going to go down that road. And they were very honest about it. The SolarWinds uh, came through uh, because of, probably because of the people and the culture, as well as the fact that it was going to save us some effort and energy as we, um, uh, as we deployed. There isn't a single client on our, uh, uh, in our client list that doesn't have a backup of some sort, uh, so it's essential. You know, we're not a backup company, we're a managed service provider, we look after everything for our clients. Um, backup just happens to be one of those things. So for us, it needs to be efficient and simple. The solution that you guys helped us put together allowed us to move hosting that data away from us into UK data centres, which is important to us. So for us, that was really important that we can, we can just concentrate on focusing the delivery to the customer. The most obvious return that we've seen is headcount. Our cloud team that have responsibility for backup um, were spending, um, so it was three or four full-time engineers were spending two hours two, three hours each every morning going through the backup checks, that's now down to one person and, and they're finding it much easier to manage. So the point now where we're going to um, move one of the headcount to look after some other areas of the business because we just don't need that extra headcount. That leads me nicely on to how we deploy it. It's so easy. You put it in, you press go, you tell it, tell it what you want to back up, you tell it how long you want to back up for, and that's it, it's done. So simple. SolarWinds have some really good people and they have um, uh, some people who listen and care and that's how we do our business with our customers. It's, it's that, um, uh, that added value that you, that you can't buy if you like. Um, and I found that um, with other providers, not just in backup but in other solutions, if they don't do that, they don't have that strong relationship, actually even if the product's okay, you, 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 you don't get the full uh, value out of uh, um, uh, what, what you're asking for and what you're getting delivered. Um, so that relationship for us is, is probably key and actually it was one of the criteria for us picking a new uh, um, or an alternative or additional um, uh, backup product was the relationship and it was even written into our, uh, in our, into our proposal to say we need to make sure that the relationship is strong. You know, um, we didn't want to be charged when uh, we phoned up for some help. We didn't want to be you know, forced to do certain things. We didn't want to be tied into unnecessary contracts. And when we found bugs, it's been dealt with. We had a bug um, that was um, uh, that was we found that was quite important to us, uh, and the the, uh, the patch and release was put in within 10 days or so, and that's important to us as well, as opposed to waiting for the, the, the large corporate machine going through and we're getting to it in six six months or so. And so yes, yeah, fantastic.